going on guys welcome back to the ovens garage today we're going to be installing this steering box brace onto old blue now i already have an install video of the same exact brace onto the red truck that i did uh, probably four or five years ago at this point um, i've decided to install the same brace onto the blue truck and i'll show you how to do it again so because the w250 has on the steering box a, another mounting plate to mount to the frame. Uh, the bolts that are attaching it to the frame are three bolts. This one, this one, and this one. We're going to be using the factory bolts uh, from, from the plate to the frame using those guys. And then this will sandwich uh, between this brace and the frame. So you'll need one bolt for that. So I'll probably use uh, either this guy or this guy. These are half inch bolts. And then uh, you're not going to be able to put a bolt in here just because the the plate between the frame and the steering box blocks it. And then you'll also need a bolt for down here that goes between the steering brace and then the cross member, which I'll, again I'll probably use. You know this bolt. Fine thread would be nice um, if I could get that in there uh, because it has more clamping force, and I want to make sure that this brace doesn't move uh, once it's installed in there. So we'll head out to the truck, we'll take these three bolts off of the steering brace, and we'll see if I have to make that same modification I did on the other one, because it was, it was hitting a little bump in the frame. If so, no big deal, just file that out, and then uh, we'll get it installed. So, really easy, three bolts off, brace in, three bolts back on, bolt here, bolt here, and then we're done. I already took some good before footage of the steering box moving, uh, just slightly without the brace and then I'll take some after footage once this is installed and we'll see if we'll see if that resolves the slight movement of the steering box. Okay, that's what I cut out, and then I just threw a quick coat of paint on there. I've got to drill this hole up to half inch, um, so I can bolt, so I can put a bolt through um, the frame and the bracket. I tighten all the bolts down to 80 foot pounds. Okay, I tighten this guy down to about 80 foot-pounds and look at how close this bracket came with the archive garage front hanger box. I thought I was going to have no problem, but it actually turned out to be really close with the steering brace. So now I'll set the camera up and see what sort of flex we have. Okay, so I just went for a little test drive here after installing the steering box brace and my first initial reaction or opinion on the steering brace is it does feel like my steering is a little bit more snug. Now if you look in the before and after videos, I think you can see that it's snugged up a little bit, the steering box, but the steering box in relation to the frame is still uh, flexing just a little bit. Now, I just had the steering box off to rebuild the steering gear and put new seals in it a couple months ago, so I know for a fact that the steering, or that the frame and the, the plate that connects the steering box to the frame 
we're both in good shape. There's no cracks, there's no breaks. So the issue, I think, is with those, those plates that attach the steering box to the frame. I think that they're a bad design, they're too thin, and it's still flexing even though there's no cracks in it. So I'm gonna take a look online, see if there's any companies that make uh, really strong steering box adapters. I, I'm gonna call it a steering box adapter because I don't know what it's called. And we'll see what options are out there. If this is the last thing that I can do is to get a stronger plate, I think it'll really tighten up the steering even more. I mean, it's already really good right now. There's no play in it. Like when I move it to the left and right just a little bit, there's really hardly any play. The reason that I don't want to go to crossover steering is when I have the camper on, I still want that sway bar up front because it really helps with the sway when I'm quartering and going around turns, uh, keeping the truck really stable. So I don't want to go to crossover steering. I'm kind of of the opinion now that I don't think you need crossover steering to make steering good on these trucks. You really just have to pinpoint where the play is and then fix that issue. Uh, otherwise, the design from the factory, the only, pro the only problem with the design in my opinion is the uh, front leaf spring hanger on the driver's side. Poor way to design that. And then the, the plate that mounts the steering box to the frame. If they had fixed those two things from the factory, the steering, the steering I think would be pretty good over the long term. So anyways, more to follow, I suppose. Thanks for watching.